we live a life of love. Well, what is love? Love rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. So what love never does is affirm evil. What love always does is speaks the truth. From Walking in Grace, this is the Straight Truth Podcast, Christian truths in an increasingly secular world. Well, welcome again to the Straight Truth Podcast. I'm your host, Josh Philpott, and as always, I'm joined by Pastor Richard Caldwell of Founders Baptist Church. Now, this podcast seeks to answer questions about faith, doctrine, practice, Bible verses, and even cultural issues. And we'd love for you to join the conversation. So if you're watching from YouTube, just leave us a comment below the video and we'll get to that. Or you can submit a question at our website, and the address is straighttruth.net. Now at our website, you can find links to all of our social media channels, as well as previous episodes. With that, let's get to the question for this episode. Pastor, the question for this episode is a situational question. This person is a public school teacher. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you're a public school teacher in our context, you're doing a lot of Zoom meetings. And, And so he says that he was in a Zoom meeting recently where the presenter had her preferred pronouns show up next to her name. So she must have typed this in herself. And she said her preferred preferred pronouns were she and her. And so he said that's fortunately it wasn't something Mm -hmm. uh, different than than her uh, biological gender. He says, but I see the day approaching when I'm going to be expected to refer to a woman as they or them or an it. Um, And out of respect, he's going to have to to do that, he said, because this this is the business. So the question is, do or can I capitulate without compromising my Christian values and witness? Or how do I handle those situations? That's a difficult question because this is an unavoidable issue for all of us sooner or later. The the way the culture is headed, uh, every single one of us is going to be put in that that situation. And I don't pretend to have an answer for everyone. Uh, I'll answer for myself. I will not, I cannot violate what God has done, what He has made, the truth that He has revealed, the truth that is self-evident by referring to any person in a way that doesn't match reality. And while I say that's just my answer, Josh, at the core, I believe that really is all of our answer. I don't know how we can honor the God of the Bible and compromise in ways where we, we have to act as if we believe something we absolutely do not believe. So I think what it's gonna require for all of us is, is graciousness, but courage. So what I don't have to do is insult someone, mm-hmm. right, on purpose. Right. I, I can think about other ways to refer to them in ways that don't violate the truth. But if mm-hmm. I'm forced into a situation where I have to use a preferred pronoun and it doesn't match reality, then I'm sorry, I just will refuse to do so. I'll try to avoid offense in every way that I can. I'll try to make clear that it's not you know, some sort of personal animus at work here. It's not that I'm trying to attack you as an individual. It, it, is, it is my fidelity to the truth. It is my loyalty to, to the living God and to His Word that forces me to refuse to speak in a way that amounts to a lie. Even if it costs this person their job. I think it's what we had better be prepared in the culture we're in and the way it's headed, we had better be prepared for suffering, mm-hmm. arm, arm ourselves for persecution because it will eventually result, as it did for the first century believers, as mm-hmm. it has throughout church history, it will eventually impact us economically, vocationally, mm-hmm. relationally, sometimes including our own families. Faithfulness to Christ is costly. Mm-hmm. And this is why we're, we're charged by our Lord Himself that we must love Him more than anybody, Mm -hmm. mother, father, brother, sister, doesn't matter, more than our own lives. And so we're gonna be put in positions eventually where that love is tested. Do I love Christ preeminently? Yeah. Yeah, we have to bear the reproach of Christ, right? Right. Uh, I was thinking as you're talking about James 3, who is wise and understanding among you. I wonder if you could comment on this in relation to these questions in our culture. um, By his good conduct, let him show his works in meekness of wisdom, talks about um, being false to the truth. There's a wisdom that comes down that's earthly and unspiritual. Yeah. It's demonic. and um, But then he said there's a wisdom from above that is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, and full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. 
And, uh, and I wonder if that could apply to these situations because I feel like in, um, I've seen or read many times how um, it's, it's such an incomprehensible thought to have that a, a biological woman might call themselves a, a he or him right. or vice versa um, as it relates to males and females that um, uh, Christians or anybody can, can offer these quick jabs and, and, uh, and try to be funny and, um, and, and maybe that's not the right position to take. How should Christians respond? Yeah, I think the passage those... you just referenced is, is perfect. The wisdom that comes down from above is, is full of peace. It's gentle in nature. It's truthful at the same time. Yeah. It's pure. Mm -hmm. It's sincere. Right? So we don't engage in any kind of hypocrisy in the name of the wisdom of God. So to this world, and here's the difficulty, Josh, it, it can be genuinely peaceful and, and gracious and gentle and be absolutely offensive mm -hmm. to the culture at mm -hmm. the same time. So we can't measure kindness by the world's standard. We have to measure kindness by God's standard. And so I also bring into the picture of my own thinking, 1 Corinthians 13, what love is, right? Mm -hmm. what, what is the Christian life? I've been learning this in the book of Romans. It's a life of love. And that includes how to love a world full of hostility. Romans 12, 9 and following deals with that. So we live a life of love. Well, what is love? Uh, love rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. So what love never does is affirm evil. What love always does is speaks the truth. Mm. It's not truth without love. It's not love without truth. It's speaking the truth in love. This is what we're called to do, how we're called to live. And so when we think about that particular example that was offered, you know, it's not loving to treat a man who is experiencing gender dysphoria and thinks he's a woman. It's not loving to affirm a lie. It's not, it's not loving to affirm a perspective that belongs to lostness and that will result in the final sense in damnation. That, that's not loving. Mm -hmm. Loving is to speak the truth, but speaking the truth needs to, to have with it the character of God himself. Yeah. And so that's where the James passage comes Important. into play. Yeah, you know, what kind of wisdom are we talking about? And so if we take, like with so many other issues, if we take our issue and then consider the whole of scripture in, as informing us as, as how we are to respond, then our, our message will be matched by a manner that, that belongs to it. And, that, and that's why what we need is what the Spirit of God produces. This is beyond our own capacity. Lord, I wanna share your truth, but in the power of your Spirit and in the character of Christ. Would you work in my life in a way that what people meet with is the Lord Jesus Christ through me? Mm -hmm. That should be our desire. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of the Straight Truth Podcast. Now, we'd love for you to share this episode with friends and family. And the easiest way to do that is just by going to one of our social media channels and liking and subscribing to our videos there. Now, we'd love to spread the word about Straight Truth. And the easiest way to do that is by going to the Apple Podcast link and leaving us a five-star review. Now, Straight Truth is listener supported. So if you'd like to find out ways to help us to continue to produce this podcast, again, go to our website, straighttruth.net. Now, Straight Truth is a production of Walking in Grace Ministries, the preaching and teaching ministry of Pastor Richard Caldwell. For more information, go to walkingingrace.org.